of Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make white chocolate brownies. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. Now I am calling these brownies instead of blondies because even though they are not going to be brown, they are a little bit fudgy and they have chocolate baked right into the batter, just like traditional brownies do. Therefore, I do not consider them to be blondies, I am calling them white chocolate brownies. Now the first thing that you need is 10 tablespoons of unsalted butter, and as you can see here, I've cut this into pieces. Next, you will need six ounces of premium white chocolate. Chocolate. This is going to be melted along with the butter and it's going to be baked right into the batter. Again, just like if we were making classic brownies. Now you just need six ounces and a classic bar is four. So I'm just gonna break one of these in half. So I'm just gonna chop these up and I'll toss them in with my butter. Drop this chocolate right in with my butter. And now I'll take this over to the microwave where I'm going to heat it in about 20 to 25 second increments, stirring really well in between until both the butter and the chocolate are melted and the mixture is nice and smooth. All right, this is looking good, nice and smooth. So we're gonna set that aside for a minute and now you're going to need a separate mixing bowl. And in this one, we are going to combine one and a fourth cups of granulated sugar, along with two large eggs and one large egg yolk. Now for this next step, I like to use an electric mixer, but you could do this by hand using a whisk instead. We're going to beat together the sugar and the eggs and the egg yolk until they are pale and light and fluffy. I always start on a lower speed, and then once I have those yolks pretty well incorporated, I will increase my mixer speed to high. So as you can see, that happened pretty quickly. I was probably mixing for I don't know, maybe 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds on high speed. But I do like to do this step and use my mixer, beat it very vigorously, because this is just going to help give us that crackly, meringue-like, shiny top that you love on traditional brownies and that are so nice here on these white chocolate brownies as well. Now we'll stir in our vanilla extract, and this is just a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. You can go back to using your electric mixer if you want. I'm just using a spatula now. And then we'll add this to our chocolate mixture. Or you could add the chocolate mixture to it, but my bowl's a little bit larger here, so I'm gonna add it to this bowl. So once this is nicely combined, you're going to need a separate mixing bowl. And here we're going to combine one and three fourths cup of all purpose flour with a teaspoon of salt and just a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Whisk these ingredients together until they're completely combined. And then we'll stir this into our white chocolate mixture. And you wanna stir everything together really well. You wanna make sure your batter is nice and uniform. All right, this is looking pretty good. So now I'm going to add some white chocolate chips. Now, if you'd like, you could use additional chopped white chocolate baking bar instead. I'm just using one cup of chocolate chips. Stir these in. And we'll be baking these in a nine by nine inch baking pan today. You can see I've lined mine with parchment paper. It's not necessary, you could just lightly grease your pan instead, but I like to be able to lift the bars out and easily cut them after they've cooled, so I like to use the parchment. Just smooth out the batter. And then we'll take this over to our 325 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven. And this is a lower temperature. That's because we don't want these brownies to get too brown on top. They're gonna get a little light golden brown, but we don't want them to darken too much. Still want them to retain some of that white chocolate color. And then they're going to need to bake for about 42 to 45 minutes. When they're finished, a toothpick inserted in the center should come out clean or with a few moist fudgy crumbs. You'll want to let these cool in the pan, and once they're cooled completely, you could use the parchment to lift them out and cut them neatly, but I'm just going to cut them right here in the pan because mine are not cooled completely, but I'm hungry and want to try these out. Take a look at that. They're super fudgy white chocolate texture. And that is how you make white chocolate brownies. I hope you guys love this recipe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm. That's good.